Yeah, I managed to get the microphone away from Ted for a bit. I'm sitting down with Paul Rosicki. Is that your name? I is, yeah, Paul Rosicki, uh, professor of political science at Mott College. Yeah, Good to be here. So I saw him over here. I, I recognize him. I, I, have, I was over there in the it's 80s. I saw you all the time. Yeah, well, I'm still around there. I've been there for a long time and still at it. So coming up on in 40 years at Mott. Yeah, so, you guys, so you're kind of like a legend in the uh, Mott Community College. Uh, well, I'm not sure about a legend. <laughs> but it's, I've been there long enough. That's right. Yeah. I, yeah, it's been a long time. I started there in, um, I think it was 81, right after I graduated from high school. All right. Like I say, I And you were there. <laughs> I was there. Well, I, I came there in 69. I, 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 got, I did my grad work in Indiana from Premier. Illinois originally, okay. but uh, been here since 1969, so I've seen a lot of changes in the city of Flint. Uh, in fact, uh, the year I came was kind of the year we hit our peak, almost 200,000 people, and we've been going down ever since <laughs> that time. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, my family was a long-time residents of this town. Um, oh, yeah. So what did you think of the debates we just got down here? You know, what strikes me about these debates, and this is the second one I've been at, is how solid they I mean, I've been to a lot of these debates for a lot of offices, but... Uh, these candidates are really, you know, solid on some pretty good issues. There's a lot less hot air than you sometimes hear at these kind of things. Uh, they're they're proposing some, you know, fairly concrete solutions and some decent visions for the city. So, you know, as debates go, uh, I would rank these, uh, at least the two I've been at, as among the better ones for uh, uh, that I've seen for a long time. Now, it's like I'm not going to put you in the spot to ask which one you prefer, but uh, anyway... Um, well, maybe, maybe you're out for a campaign. You said you once while you participate in campaigns in the area. Oh, yeah. I've worked for a lot of candidates, and I'm not, not working for anybody in this particular race. But uh, I, uh, my, I did kind of a, a little mini prediction of sorts a while back on one of uh, Andrew Heller, Heller's blogs about a week ago. And uh, my take right now, this could change, but my take is that uh, probably what's going to happen in Flint is things are going to break down along racial lines. Right. Walling is going to take a lot of the white vote, east side, south side. The real question he's got is, will he get more than 50% of the vote in the primary? If he, does, if he gets more than 50%, he's in good shape for, for the general election in August. If he gets less, especially a lot less, then he's got some real hard work to do. Um, my guess is that probably the likely second-place finisher is Clack, although you never know. Uh, Buchanan also has come on pretty strong, too. But I think, you know, Clack's just got the political smarts and experience and really political machine to put together a good campaign, but uh, I'm struck with all the, the literature Buchanan's getting out pretty quickly as well. So he could be a competitor, but uh, more than likely, I think a third place finish for him is a little more the case. Um, beyond that, I'm not sure. Uh, Greg Eason is really, I think, just top notch on policy, but he's kind of a new face in town. Right. Whether or not he's got the, again, the political organization and he's, whether he's well known enough in a low turnout primary. We're gonna have a low turnout primary probably. So. Eason may have, may have to get his folks out there, but again, on policy, he's been one of the strongest folks in, all, in these, these debates. Uh, Sheldon Neely has got, does some great neighborhood work. He's been, been solid on the council and really organizes his neighborhood well, but uh, in large part, he's got to get outside the sixth ward. And then there's good old Eric Mays, and I think Eric, with the, with the support of, of the Don, may do a little better than expected, but I think Eric's kind of playing catch up there. Yep. So that's kind of a short take on some of that. So, hey, i got to cut this short because we're cutting right. the lights I, off I, on us. Turning our lights on, I'll see that. Very nice to meet it's see you again here. here, and you I'll bet. take care again. I was just